Okay, on using home all input on Acorn, your home switches all need to be normally closed, as they're shown here on the dry erase board. They're all normally closed. One end goes to Acorn input, whichever one you assign, and assign it home all. The other end goes to Acorn power supply common. That way, when you look at the diagnostic screen, we'll look at that in a second, you press Alt, I, you'll see a green LED on when all these switches are closed, meaning the circuit is complete and the Acorn input is active. Okay, we're at my router. And the way this router homes, it homes X to the negative side, and then Y to the positive side, and Z to the positive side. I use home all, and all my switches are in series. Okay, let's go into the diagnostic screen. I'm going to press Alt, I, it's loading the menu, and you'll see input 1 assigned to home all, and it's green. I'm going to go over here to my, my Z switch, and I'm going to press it, and you'll see it opens. Press it, it's open. You should do that to all three of your switches. With the switches not triggered, not depressed, this should be green if you're using normally closed and you've got the, uh, the three uh, home switches in series and wired correctly. Now, again, my machine will home in the positive direction, trip that switch, and then it's gonna, X will home in the negative direction and trip the switch behind the cover and then Y will go back and trip the switch under the table. So Z positive, X negative, Y positive. So let's watch that here on the display as it happens. So watch the, watch the, uh, I'm gonna press, I'm gonna press cycle start to home the machine. It says machine home not set. Watch the, there it tripped, the Z tripped. Now it's moving back, let's watch Y trip. And it'll back off as soon as it trips it. CNC 12 will back there, backed off. Now X is moving to the negative direction. It's going to trip it. CNC, it'll trip, and then CNC 12 will back off. Almost there. There, it hit it. Backed off, Z DROs are set. Now, I'm gonna press Alt-I again to get rid of the diagnostic screen. You'll see it's in the, the state is back to normally closed. I'm gonna press Alt-I. Now, the DROs have values in them, and that confuses a lot of people. This is not the home position. This is the, the work coordinate G54, the last part position. CNC 12 stores the last part position. If you want to see the machine home position, and I actually have my, my, uh, my wizard set up to show that, you see it's Z. If you don't have that, press, press these keys, Alt D. That's machine, the machine position. That's the home position, there's zero. So I'm going to press Alt-D again to get back to the G54 part, and that's the part position. So do not confuse G54 with Machine Home, which is the Alt-D, okay? So let's go into the wizard and see how this machine is set up. So I'm going to go F7 Utility, F10 Wizard. Okay, we're going to go to Homing and Travel. We have wizard to generate the automatic home program based on the selections below. Homing type. Automatic homing machine seeks switches to home. Now let's look at this. This is the, the homing sequence. So the first axis to be moved by CNC 12 to home is axis 3, then axis 2, which is Y, and then axis 1, which is X. X, Y, and Z. So the X axis switch to trip it is in the negative position. The switch is over there. So CNC 12 is going to move X in the negative direction. Subsequently, it's going to move Y in the positive direction and Z in the positive direction. OK, 
Okay, since x, the x home switch is a negative, then the travel limit will be positive. That means once it's hit the negative end, that's zero, and there are 24 inches of travel in the positive direction. And then here, y, y positive, since it's hit the positive direction, there, on my machine, there's negative 23.8 inches of travel in the negative direction. That's setting the soft limits. And then likewise, the Z home is in the positive end of travel. The Z travels negative five inches, goes down. So that's the way this is set up. Now, if you have something else set up or another setup, take a minute to post a video of just like I did. Show us where your switches are. Mine is right there. For the X or the Z positive, the X negative is on this side, the machine moves over to trip it, and then the Y positive is in the back, the machine moves back to trip it. This could be a mill or it could be it could be a router, um, just like that. So uh, take a little bit more time and show us what you have. Always post a fresh report when asking for help because the, the report has all the uh, machine settings. And I'll show you, just go F7 Utility, F7 Create Report, and then you just basically browse to the folder that you want that report saved. Use usually USB drive, save it there, pull it out, take it to your desktop, and when you go to the Centroid forums, post a fresh report. And that fresh report means after you're all done and you need help, the very last thing you do is get the report and then take it to the, to the computer and upload it with your questions. Hope this is helpful. Talk to you guys soon.